So it's the summer of 97. I'm in Frederick, Maryland at the Denny's. I had just gotten done my shift at Chi Chi's. Uh, sitting there waiting for some friends and the place is packed. And I can feel off to my right, like this table looking at me. And I, I then, I was like someone was asking me a question and I hear, hey, did you get your mole at Walmart? And I look, I, I'm sorry? And there's this guy sitting with this other guy and these two girls, they're straight out of central casting for the Jersey Shore. <laughs> like, my first thought when I looked up is like, wow, they're tan. <laughs> and I said, did you get your mole at Walmart? Did I get my mole at Walmart? <laughs> and the whole table is laughing. And I have no idea what he's talking about. And then I realize I'm being made fun of. He's talking about my mole, this mole, on the side of my face, which I had never had a complex about before. And I'm thinking, should I have a complex about this? Have I gotten to this point uh, to my life? Like the whole time people are like whispering behind my back, like, oh my God, he just walks around with it on his face. <laughs> and I just kind of look down back into my menu and I can hear them making fun of everybody in the establishment. And I go, going through like their Mickey Rooney book of stereotypical jabs of just, I'm a Fred Nick from Frederick, which they thought was so clever. We've been calling ourselves Fred Nick for years. <laughs> Go any, any uh, like old person in the, within their view going, yeah, can I borrow some cream? <laughs> Our waiter, the one of the reasons we even come to the Denny's at that time, who was gay, they're jabbing him with just awful, rotten, anything he says to them, they just go, oh, stop, oh, stop. And I can feel the weight of my coffee mug and how easy and just throwable it was. <laughs> right at that point, my friends come in and I'm kind of relieved at first. And then I look at them and they're high. <laughs> And they sit down and my friend Jeff is like, dude, what's wrong, man? And part of the brilliance of being insulted so poorly, insulted so poorly, is for me to like relay back the exchange just created more confusion. <laughs> wait, wait, wait a second, when, you were at Walmart when? <laughs> Four of them get up to leave and I just follow them out. And as soon as they're like out of eyesight, I'm like, they were making fun of everyone. And then I hear like straight across this girl go, yes! And I look at her and we make eye contact. And I'm like, those guys. And she's like, yeah, I've been trying to tell my boyfriend. What, that they're assholes? Yes! <laughs> It's like our anger met and made love. <laughs> and her boyfriend was like, well, you mean the guy's like sitting right there? And I'm like, the guy's sitting right there. And there, under God's fluorescent yellow lights, are their car keys. And I looked at her and she just goes. <laughs> and I went over, snatched them, put them in my pocket and did one of these. <laughs> and I sit down and my friend Jeff goes, what are you doing? And I bounce up and I go, I don't know. <laughs> I walk straight to the bathroom, into the stall, take them out, lock the door, throw them in the toilet, Flush once, twice, just like keep flushing. 
And at that moment, it was like so appropriate. I was just, oh, wow. I was relieved. I hear outside, dude, I'm calling the cops. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna pay for my stuff and I'm gonna get out of here. I walk over to the register and I can feel, again, the mole connoisseur just kind of looking at me. I know he's coming over. He comes over and he's like, dude, look, I don't care if you took the keys. You know, if you know who took the keys, I'll give you $100. Just I need those keys, man, I need those keys. And I looked at him and I knew what I was gonna say and I was like, I'm, I'm sorry, but my vision has been impaired <laughs> by the size of the growth that you noticed. No, I didn't say that. It was more along the lines of, oh, uh, mm, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I do. So I leave, I see the two girls leaning up against their Jeep and I look at the tags and they say, Florida. I'm like, wow. One of them is like, where's Frederick, Maryland? And the other one's like, I don't fucking know. <laughs> I go home, I go to work the next morning, their Jeep is still there. I see my friend Jeff and he's like, man, uh, things like went down after you left. <laughs> He's like, that guy, he came up to me and he was like, I know it was your friend that took the keys. And if you tell him, if I ever see him, I'm gonna cut that mole off the side of his face. I was like, wow. <laughs> and like, after I heard that, I was not angry anymore. I wasn't even mad. I, I felt kind of sorry for him, he was like, Someone like that has to be in like a lot of pain to be so self-destructive and to continue to want to make choices to just, that are just gonna end up with their future straight down the toilet.